Who'd you hang out with five months ago? I have an idea. <coughs> Peanut gallery. Good push, Mom. You can do it. Hi, little girl. And Billy's mom has got something going on. Watch it. You do this all the time. She's <laughs> peeing. What? This is exactly how I feel. I know. It's hard. Happy Thursday. I spent the morning just running some errands. I was almost out of colostrum already. We've gone through almost a whole entire case. I think we have gone through a case actually. Um, and I got back just in the nick of time. This is what always happens. I wait and wait and wait for lambs and I have to leave for lambs to come out. So I have a lamb on the ground. Mama looks like she's got it all under control. So, hey mama. Who'd you hang out with five months ago? I have an idea. What are you saying, Cinnamon? Hey. You're longing. You just want to have a baby so bad. Don't ya? You want to have a baby so bad. Hmm? and then a little plop. Mm -hmm. I hear ya. Good girl, mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my youths are enjoying the late afternoon early evening lambing which is okay but I'm on night duty tonight so hopefully it doesn't drag out till past Sandy's bedtime 
Uh, Carissa just had one lamb. She's lambing right now. Push, Mom. You can do it. You can do it. Good girl. There you go. Oh, you do have another one. She's a wee strip up city. This one's backwards, so it's probably good. I showed up. Pooped. 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 Hi. Hi. Another three. Good morning. And whose is this? Is this yours? Is it yours? Is this yours? Having another one, but you have to deal with this one. Morning, it's Friday, which means it's day 12. Uh, a nice little single. This one, I think that's hers. I just think she's lambing. I'm gonna set up a couple more uh, claiming pens and uh, get ready for these guys. Move her down so I can get that lamb warmed up quick. That was quick. Come on, Mom. There you go, Mom. There you go. Okay, this one, uh, the first one she had is responsive, but won't, doesn't have a sucking reflex, so I'm just going to take its temp. I think we can get it up pretty quick, hopefully. 35.1. So I'm going to rewarm it in my warm water in the little bag, my glove. And then I've got this preheating, my warming box, and we're just gonna get its temp up to 37. So I got my warm water here. The whole point is to keep its fluids on it and not get it wet again, because I think in the past I've always just washed them Mind you, it's already wet, but if it was dry and I did this and I wet them, then they'd have to go through that whole kind of warm up chill process again because they're all wet. So I'm finding to keep the fluids on these lambs, it's easier to do this. And I just warm it up like this for, I don't know few uh a few instagram stories okay it's been um five minutes or so maybe longer i got sidetracked on my phone how are we doing so i got a towel here nice and warm nice quiet now you get the wipe wipey wipey the wiping also helps stimulate just what nature is supposed to do. Mama's supposed to give her a good wipe down, but Mama's not the strongest either. Or she's lazy. I don't think she's lazy. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna make it as snug as a bug. back out to check on that other little lamb and mama spit out two more one was stillborn and the other one was like half out but however she was kind of ignoring the second one so its temp is still 37 one so it hasn't gone backwards but she's not licking it off right now because she's just concentrating on the one she's just a really lethargic you um, probably not feeling the greatest so uh, quite likely I'll be taking these two off anyway and leaving her with the one, but I still haven't been able to feed that one. Uh, warming up this bottle and I'll try it in a sec, but, uh, yeah, we got two in the box now. Now you know when there's literally something wrong with mom's, where she is nutritionally, because this third lamb also is 36-1. It's the biggest of the three and it's brand new and still, like, warm from her insides. And I took the temp and it's already under the right temperature. So uh, it got towel dried off and added to the collection. Obviously mom was uh, maybe borderline preg talk. She, lo she looks tough. She's, she's slow. She's weaker on her feet. But she kept getting up and down and doing all the things that you should uh, do. So to be quite honest, when I breed these guys, they have to look good. And, or I'd see them and I wouldn't breed them and she would have looked fine. So it shows you uh, that they can go downhill fast. I think she's the one that we, that we lanced that abscess. So maybe she had a bit of an infection um, prior, obviously prior to the abscess. That's probably why she has an abscess. Uh, so whether um, by the time we finally lanced it, uh, the infection had already maybe done its damage. I don't know, but she could just be an older you too, but. For now, these are in my care, and I'm gonna, I guess, try to, I, j I need to get them fed. The one is fed, so I don't feel as bad about it, but the other two have not had a single sip yet, so that's uh, this morning's <laughs> duty. Okay, we have two up and over 37. I got 25 mils in the one that hasn't drank yet, which is nice, but it still might need two to just stop drinking. But the third one here is crashing. So it's getting some dextrose. I have a chart that I always refer to when it comes to this stuff. And uh, I've referred to it a lot, this lambing group, because I've had some pretty weak lambs, I'm not going to lie. I divide it, the dose, in half and do it on the two sides. So it's a mix of dextrose and water. And we go an inch, an inch to the side of the belly button and an inch down. It's kind of hard when they're noodly but it makes a world of difference. So this half of this dose goes in this side and the other, I'm gonna do it again on the other side. This lamb just has had no life since it was born. It's just, and it's the biggest of the three. So it's weird. Okay, other side. go okay now we put it back in the warming box and let it do its thing so good news both the lambs and myself are well fed right now uh, I did have to tube this one the big the last one that was born uh, this one drank a little bit more but it was the it's the one that's been doing okay and then the one in the coat drank 50 mils. So the only thing is I'm noticing this one does have really raspy lungs. So I've given it a bit of dexamethasone. I gave them all three of them a little bit of dexamethasone just to hopefully make their breathing a little better.
You always know when you feed and a couple ewes don't come up to the feeder that usually do that we got something going on. And Billy's mom has got something going on. Yeah. So I believe Billy's mom was put with the Tunises and Lucky. And I'm pretty sure I got video footage of Lucky and her. Well, she, Billy's mom got Lucky. If I was a betting woman, I'd say there's probably going to be some Suffolk-y looking lambs out of her. But wouldn't it be cool if we kind of had some Tunis, Billy kind of colors? I doubt we will, but it'd be pretty cool. So we'll see. I'm very excited to see what comes out. All the time. Look at your baby. Oh, it's beautiful. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, you and your boys. You and your boys. Not even mad. Oh, he's happy. He's a girl. <laughs> it's already trying to swoon the ladies. Do we have a brown billy? It's pretty handsome. Hello, gorgeous. Where are you going? That's not your mom. She's right behind you doing all the work. You know, I get a lot of flack for making pets out of my sheep. She is, she wasn't made to be a pet. She was just Billy's mom, but she's just grown nicer and more gentle and calm around me. And she's never a problem lambing out. And uh, so we have a little boy and a little girl. I'm not really sure where the white is coming from, but the baby girl is completely white. It's our new little family. And up in literally in seconds. So that makes me happy. I have to go quick have lunch because we have Rebecca coming today. We are gonna scan those ladies over there. So for the record, I checked Billy's mom for a third. Couldn't feel anything. Went and had lunch quick and um, three. Like how did you fit in there and I couldn't feel you? Okay. Where was that hiding? <laughs> Leave it to Sandy's sheep to start just giving her at four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. This one just literally spit out twins together. Mama, I just ran to get my camera and that's what popped out. <laughs> Two. Maybe three. Yeah. 
What a good hammer. Holy. Break the bag. Break the bag. Break the bag. There she goes. Good. Good. Three. Oh man, she's having a fourth. Oh my goodness, why does that look black? <gasps> no. <gasps> what? What? Are you serious? <laughs> no freaking way. Hey, Mom. I got a little black leg, and it's a girl. There. Is that enough for you? Mom's teats are pretty big for these little tiny little lambs. I'm just going to take some of the pressure off. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to use that to feed them. 200 mils. Beauty. That is a good start, for sure. Okay, this mama has been in labor for a while. I just noticed the feet were, it looks like upside down, which also looks backwards. So we're gonna, we're gonna help her. She's been laboring all afternoon, um, but I finally got to see the feet and they're not coming out right. So now we assist. <laughs> actually doing all the work. I'm just kind of holding her legs so she can't suck her back. Like, You're peeing! Means it's a girl. She's peeing! She's peeing right out of... Oh, 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 oh. I'm pooing. Okay, I think everything is kind of caught up. We have been bottle feeding all day between the ones I'm still trying to revive in the other room. The one still, I've had to tube it twice. It's just not got a sucking reflex, which is shocking. Temperature's good and it's the biggest one of the three. The one that we never really lost temperature on, I actually brought it back. It's been with mom all afternoon. We're still bottle feeding it though because it's kind of dumb um, saying that nicely. These guys have all had 50 mils. But again, really little, itty bitties. And this one, I was able to get quite a bit into it. So she is marked for two. I couldn't feel another one, but I didn't feel another one in Billy's mom and she had three. So uh, it's just about shift change here. It's about 5.30, quarter to six. Uh, Chris is gonna do night check for me tonight. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. The other thing that happened today is uh, Rebecca was here scanning. So we, we did that this afternoon and the results were really good. Back to a typical January um, catch. My January catches used to be historically fairly good, but the last couple of years of they've been trash. They've been just garbage. Mom, you're stepping on her tail. Thank you. The mature ewes were 86%. And the ewe lambs that were born last March were 91%. So only four out of 44 missed. What are you doing? This is exactly how I feel. I know, it's hard. You got your head stuck, seriously? There you go. Let me see mom. There you go. Oh, this one's up already. Good mom. 
and my baby.